Bipolar junction transistors consist of either a PNP or NPN semiconductor sandwich structure. The bipolar junction transistor is commonly referred to as a BJT. A BJT is so named because the controlled current must go through two types of semiconductor material, P and N. The current consists of both electron and hole flow in different parts of the BJT. These are the schematic symbols for NPN and PNP bipolar junction transistors. The three leads of a BJT are called the emitter, base, and collector. The emitter lead can always be identified by the arrow. The direction of the arrow identifies the type of BJT. An easy way to determine which type of BJT is depicted by the symbol is to look at the arrow. Remember that the arrow of an NPN is not pointed in. NPN. The BJT functions as a current regulator by allowing a small amount of emitter base current to control a larger collector emitter current. In order for the BJT to properly function as a current regulator, the controlling base emitter current and the controlled collector emitter current must be going in the proper direction. This is achieved by applying the proper voltage biasing. Transistors may be used as switching elements to control DC power to a load. In a conventional mechanical switch, the electrical contacts move to open and close. When the switch is actuated, all of the circuit current travels through the switch. There are many disadvantages to this type of circuit design, some of which are the damage to the mechanical switch due to arcing, heating, and the potential risk of shock to the operator. A transistor can be used as a solid state relay and offers an alternative to a mechanical switch. With the proper current and voltage biasing, the transistor can be turned on or off. The controlling current and voltage is typically very small compared to the controlled current and voltage. This allows for reduced risk to the operator, minimizes arcing, and creates many other control options such as a TTL control signal. When a transistor has zero current through it, it is said to be in a state of cutoff. The transistor is fully non-conducting or off. When a transistor has maximum current through it, it is said to be in a state of saturation. The transistor is fully conducting or on. Tested with a multimeter in the resistance or diode check modes, a transistor behaves like two back-to-back -back PN junctions, or better known as a simple diode. The BJT must have proper voltage applied to bias the transistor on or off. The emitter base PN junction must be forward biased, which will allow collector emitter current to flow. It is the potential difference between the emitter base PN junction that turns the transistor on. However, it's very important to note that it is the emitter base current flow that regulates the amount of current between the collector and emitter. The reverse biased base collector junction normally blocks any current from going through the transistor between emitter and collector. Bipolar junction transistors have many different uses and are found in almost every electronic circuit. It is important to understand the fundamental theory of operation of these devices.